Everybody. Welcome to a fantastic new week. My name is Vida and I am the signpost. So this week we'll be talking about another experience. This one I will just call it Rescue Mission. Rescue Davida, Project Rescue Vida. So, some months ago, I stepped just outside of Lagos, Ogun State to be precise and I took an Uber there. I didn't want to drive that day. And I said, okay, you know what? Let's just do Uber. As I was going to the place, I saw traffic on the road coming back into Lagos. Gangster, gangster traffic. The traffic that, you know, you will have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in that traffic. So I was, you know, there was a lot of trepidation, but I said, you know what, go, go and focus on what took you there. So I did what I needed to do. When I was ready to go, there were no Ubers, again, because of that traffic. And so I finished what I was meant to do by max 11. I waited 12, 1, 2. No hope or help in sight. I think it was around about that two o'clock or so I posted on my status because it was a work day and I honestly didn't know who I could call to come from work to pick me. I mean, who does that? I'm not even sure I would not. I'm not sure. Vida would not be able to do it. Maybe I would have sent my driver out, but I wouldn't have come myself. So I just put it on WhatsApp that just in case any of my friends or co ex-colleagues or partners and all that were in that neighborhood by any stroke of chance, they should please holler at me so that I can catch a ride with them. Because at this time, I honestly did not know how I was going to get back to Lagos, much less get back home. I visualized myself on an Okada on road that they are constructing. I could just imagine my wig separating from my head as I was bouncing on an Okada with dust and all, and it wasn't a pleasant thought. Anyway, um, one of my friends, his name is Mike, saw my status and called me. And this was maybe around 3.30 to 4 or so. And I had not told my hosts that invited me that I was still around. I did, just didn't want anybody, you know, creating a fuss about you know, sorting me out. Anyway, my friend, Mike, I call him Rona, calls me up and says, Vida, I'm coming to get you. I couldn't say thank you. Oh, yay. The first thing I said, but there's a lot of traffic coming back to Lagos. You know, because I knew the sacrifice it would be for somebody to come get me and then unknowingly put themselves in a nightmarish position of traffic and he said yes there'll be traffic but at least one you will be in the car with me you will be safe we will get you home and he's not going to be in the car alone now we'll be just on the way back i was humbled i was honored i was blown away it touched me because I don't know about you guys though, but these days everybody is so busy with themselves. Everybody is so um, into what's in it for them. You hardly ever find people these days, you know, who will leave one state, drive all the way to another state, not for party, because if it's party, we'll do it you know, to come and rescue a damsel in distress and put themselves in traffic all the way back. At that time of the day too, it was getting to the evening. 
and he got there for 4 30 picked me took me somewhere made sure i ate maybe so that i do not display any madness on the road because i hadn't eaten all day you know made sure i ate and then we hit the road the traffic had eased but it wasn't about the traffic it was just about the fact that somebody had you know stepped out of their comfort you know to come rescue me to come help me out of a dilemma so this is where you realize that your social quotient is critical it wasn't about money i had money to pay for uber or whatever and i couldn't find this was about having meaningful human connections that's what will make everything actually work out so while you are striving and working and building career and doing all those type of things and you know like we say um what's that thing get in the bag you know and all that build meaningful human connections such that you know when you are ever caught up in a situation such as this your experience ends up as positive as the one that i have shared and that's all for me from today for today have a fantastic fantastic new week god bless you and ciao bye